My name's Sarah Faulkner. I'm with WWF Canada. Uh, and here we are. It's the last day, uh, the last Zodiac landing of Students on Ice. And we've been doing a lot of reflecting over the past couple of days about this amazing journey from Canada to Iceland to Greenland to Labrador. Students on Ice is a fantastic learning opportunity for uh, students from the south to learn about the Arctic for the first time, and then the significant number of students from the north get to see the Arctic from a different perspective, from outside their home, and they get to see a little bit about how other people view their home. And so the sharing between students is a really important part of the program. WWF was proud to sponsor four students on this trip, two from Greenland and two from Nunavut and it's been such a joy getting to know them and hear their stories, uh, to hear how their communities live and how they're affected by climate change every day, and to, to talk with them about what their hopes for the future are, uh, and to help them learn to communicate their hopes and uh, their stories to the rest of the world. And I'm very happy to be here on this expedition, and I've learned a lot. I'm very glad, I'm very, very, very grateful that I got this opportunity. It's, very, it's been great, it's been amazing. And I'll never forget this trip, ever. I think it's just the people that I've been with and the, peop the, the things that I've seen, it, I think it's changed me, actually. To sail into that fjord, to see glaciers, to see icebergs, um, it was a first time for a lot of the students. It was a first time for me, um, and it was really an experience that I'll never forget. It was incredible to watch the students uh, touch a glacier for the first time. We all took pieces of the, the ice that was floating and tasted it, and it was the cleanest, clearest, most wonderful water we'd ever tasted in our lives. And to feel that kind of physical connection to, to these melting glaciers, it really touched me. I mean, we know that climate change is an issue. We know that the glaciers are melting. Um, but to actually see this incredible glacier that's been there for so many thousands of years um, that may not be there 50 years from now, it really struck me just how urgent our work is, how important it is for us to find solutions to climate change. My wish is that uh, Canadians collectively uh, and, and also at the, at the top leadership level continue to recognize that the Arctic is a special place and a place that defines Canada and who we are as Canadians uh, because the Arctic is, is undergoing dramatic change due to climate change. It's, it's warming at, at about twice the global average rate so that this is the place that the, one of the places on the planet where the impacts of climate change are being felt first and being felt strongest. And that's something that we get when we talk to members, people in communities, or when we talk to elders, they recognize that um, the seasons are shifting forward. Uh, things like the ice conditions that, that uh, Inuit hunt on are now unpredictable because they, you know, the breakup happens at a different time than it used to. And so it's a real challenge for uh, people in the Arctic to to adapt to those changes, but but one way or another, um, clearly it, it helps to send the message around the need to address climate change, because the climate change issue can only be addressed collectively by action around the world, not just in the Arctic. It's been a really great experience working with all of these passionate students from around the world. They just they blow my mind every day with how intelligent they are, how much they take in, the kind of questions they ask and, and how much they're learning. Um, they're all really committed to, to climate change um, solutions and it's been just amazing to watch them witness firsthand the effects of climate change. They're going to take that back to their communities and they're going to take action and I'm going to take action. I mean, it's, it's, been, uh, it's been a transformative experience for me as well.